Why is my house so loud? <laughs> the sun is shining and yet it is still freezing. I don't know why, but it's still cold. Hello everybody, I'm Dragon Princess and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to keep um, all my fellow introverts out there a little guide to university um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have been to university I lived on campus um, for three weeks unfortunately even though um, yeah a lot happened and so I just wanted to give you some tips that worked for me and that I will definitely be putting into practice once again once I go back or once we're allowed to go back into the world <laughs> um, so let's get started so the first tip that I would say um, is really good for introverts especially is going into shared living spaces um, I don't know that every university has it um, but my university certainly did. We were able to pick um, how many people we wanted to live with or whether we wanted to live on our own. I decided to pick living with people and I was living with four other people during my time there. Um, and you know, you get to talk to them and you get to see them and stuff. I don't know what it's like for other universities, but my university actually allowed us to pick what our roommates were like, and we got to write a little thing about what our roommates, what we wanted our roommates to be like, um, sort of, and sort of like a Q&A about ourselves um, to like match up. I thought that was pretty interesting. I mean, my university also had um, what kind of genders we wanted. So whether we wanted mixed gender or single gender, I decided to go with a mixed gender. The next tip that I have, even though it is can be a little scary um, for introverts, I know definitely myself, it was definitely putting on um, a brave face and going out to see all the people and stuff, but I joined a lot of clubs. Um, so I actually joined uh, three clubs. Um, I think that was basically the kind of limit um, that I could do. It was basically how you could basically join however many clubs you wanted as long as it fit into your schedule and that you could like fully dedicate to each of them. So the clubs that I joined, even though most of them, even though two of them weren't really able to do much about them, um, I joined the theatre group and I also joined the dancing group. Um, so I even though we weren't really meeting people and stuff um, because everything happened before um, like everything went into lockdown, nothing really happened um, but I can assure you that you meet people a lot and especially with the theatre groups you would be able to get experience and see a lot of people and work with people and that would get you opportunities and friends um, and you've kind of just got to go out of your comfort shell. Um, my third group that I, the third club that I joined was a writers club. Um, and that was really awesome because I actually did meet a lot of people. Um, we had a group meeting and now that we're all um, sitting at home, we're actually all online. So we get, we have like we fortnightly book clubs and we talk and stuff. So I still um, have those connections in the writers club um, that I joined. But yeah, I'm excited to keep going with those clubs. Uh, another thing that is similar to clubs and stuff is joining extra curriculum. Um, and this could basically mean anything. Um, what I did was before I moved in to campus and before we started university, I went on a uh, camp for first years that um, my university had where we did activities and stuff. It was only for three days, but we did a bunch of activities and we got into groups and teams and stuff. And I met a lot of cool people there and I talked to a few of them still. Um, 
So yeah, so I thought that was really fun and it's definitely a good way to meet some more people, get out of your comfort shell, um, just get out there and do fun things. Yeah. Um, leading on to uh, the next one is connect on social. So socials? <laughs> it's connect on socials. So once you actually meet these people, it's actually really good, especially in this day and age and also because we're in lockdown, is to actually find people on their socials, whether it be Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, it's actually really good to like find them and see what they're up to and you know talk to them and stuff, especially on socials. So that's really good. I would definitely suggest um, doing that because you actually still get to like keep them and you remember them and find them. Another great tip that I find in uh, university is sit next to people in your classes and your lectures. Um, if you don't have any friends, like I did um, when I went into my classes, I generally sat just next to random people and people would sit next to me. We're all in university, we're all adults, so um, yeah, no, it was really good. I um, got to talk to a lot of people and got to talk to um, a few really interesting people um, that were in my classes and I got to see them um, for the weeks that I was there doing classes so that was really cool. Another great thing about my university is that it offered different tours and stuff around. Um, if you go on those tours, talk to some people. Um, we had different facility tours, so there was an art tour, a business tour, a health tour, um, where you go around to all the different buildings that you would generally be in for your facility, talk to people who were there, ask them what actual course they're doing, ask them whether they're living on or off campus, ask them, you know, about why they choose this university, all those kind of questions actually really help. Um, just little starter things and it really, you get to know a lot of people and can be really good. The final thing that I would have to say for introverts about university is keep up with people. Um, whether it be letting your roommates drag you out to a party or a social event um, or keeping up with um, the people that you have on socials, keep talking to them. You know, if there is a comment, if there is a post that you like on their page, comment on it and start up a discussion. All those little things can really help you um, really get through university and not feel so alone and um, yeah and just try and practice um, practice like talking to people and practice situations where you're not comfortable in because practice is so much better um, than not doing anything about it. <laughs> so that was all my tips for introverts um, into uni. I hope this really helped. I hope it helped you get an understanding of what you can do to make yourself feel more comfortable um, at university. And if I missed any tips or tricks, if you have any tips or tricks, please leave them down in the comments below. That would be really helpful and maybe I might make a full sort of thing out of this, um, all about university and stuff. So yeah, so thank you all for watching and remember, I'm Dragon Princess and I'll see you all later. Bye.